What's up guys, this is WarPC channel and then Navin over here. So in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to run a Java program without any software using command prompt. Um, this very uh, some kind of typical stuff. Uh, if you have a software like NetBeans or Eclipse, it's very easy to run a program. So for those who doesn't have that uh, software, I recommend this pro this process to run a Java program. Um, I will show you how to do that. Before that, we need to uh, construct a program. So uh, type program like using a Java language. We'll go with that public. And uh, this now after the typing the program, this process should be saved as this uh, hello world it's already created here um, I would like to go with that and then this hello world should have an extension called dot java without this extension uh, you can't uh, run the program so this extension is very important after you create a program so once you have done that just uh, click save and why this hello world over here is this the class name should uh, have the file name this both should have the same name so that the compiler will uh, easily recognize the file and then uh, once you are done then just click save over here it exists yes so once you have typed this program now I recommend to open a command prompt over here and this should be run as run as administrator yes yeah and the file I have saved the Java program is in D, so I would like to go over there. And clear screen. Yep. Now here, um, there's a, uh, there should be a testing process. Like uh, you have to type a code called Javac. Uh, it's a one. The Javac stands for Java Compiler. So once you have type and press enter, it should show all these things over here. It doesn't show the show these things. Uh, that means that you uh, you don't have a Java development kit. That is JDK. Um, it is available very easily in your uh, Oracle.com. Where you so yep. Um, to download that, I will put that link in the description. You have uh, you can uh, go on over there and then you can download that JDK. And once you have done that, um, I will show you how to display all these things over here. Let's check it out. This part is going to be download uh, Java development kit, uh, which is very uh, very much needed to run a Java program in your system. So to do so, uh, you just have to do go to your browser and uh, get this link. Uh, I will uh, put this link in the description to download. So once you get into the site, um, yeah. So once you get in the site, um, here are the versions that you are uh, like to download. Uh, if you are a Windows uh, user, you just have to click the link in over here. Whether it is a 86 or a 64 bit, mine is a 64 bit operation system, and uh, this is under Solaris and then Linux and some of the things. Uh, Mac OS uh, can Mac users can download the link in uh, Linux. Yeah. Now, as we are the Windows users, uh, I would like to uh, prefer to click this link. Before clicking this link. You have to click over here accept license agreement so once you click that uh, click this link yep um, I have a, I also have a internet download manager so it's directly done asks to download your here just just click uh, start download this download I already done so I like to click cancel now so after you get the uh, download file here uh, this will be like here you just have to click uh, run as administrator or just double click on it and it uh, complete the installation process so once you complete the installation process uh, you just go to the start menu and then in the search programs enter environmental variable like uh, this environmental variables click on this link and here environmental variables button so once you come over here in the system variables search for the variable path here it is and then click on the edit button so in this button I will like you uh, guys to put away that uh, 
where the JDK has installed. For example, I have installed the JDK in the program files Java JDK 170 pin. In here, you can find a file. Here it is the JVAC. This file is very important for the command prompt to run automatically without giving a specific uh, command like path and then you have to give this browser link every time you run a command prompt. It's a very big long process and you have to keep on doing every time you use CMD. So this process reduces that effort and what I like to do is just copy this link and paste it over in the command in this uh, edit system variable especially in the variable path in here I have already pasted that link um, I will show you guys here it is it's already uh, done over here this is the link that I have uh, copied over there C program files JDK and bin once if you have done that uh, don't forget to put this uh, semicolon over here once you all done, just click OK. <coughs> so once if you've done that, go to command prompt. Run it as administrator. Yeah. Once you've done that, go to the Java program that you already stay uh, typed and saved in a location. I saved that log Java program in uh, D, and I remember the Java name uh, is Javac. Why we put this Javac is this stands for Java compiler, which compiles a Java file and convert them into a class and object files. Now let's see that. Don't forget to put this Java extension after you after the file name. Once you're done, just click enter. This shows there is no error in the program. So the very next step you have to do is Java Hello World. Only the name. Yes it is. Here the output the Hello World is what I have typed in the program as you can see. <coughs> so this is run a program Java program in your system guys and um, if you feel this video is very helpful don't forget to hit like and if you have any queries on these videos don't forget uh, don't hesitate to comment on this video below I'm very glad to help you guys so thanks for watching you guys